my recipe for homemade granola. I have been making this recipe for years and it's so easy and it's so delicious and you can customize it however you like. And I'm gonna show you just how to do it. It all starts with just some old fashioned oats. So I have that in a bowl right here and I'm just gonna add some delicious ingredients to it. So the first thing I'm going to add to it are actually some pepita seeds, also known as pumpkin seeds, whole pumpkin seeds, and some sunflower seeds. So either put these in a skillet or in the oven and toast them up. I like to buy them raw and unsalted so that I can control how much salt actually goes into the recipe. So that's what I have here. And truthfully, if you uh, like almonds, you could put almonds or walnuts, anything like that. You could add those in as well or substitute them in. The next thing I'm going to add is some coconut. This is unsweetened coconut. This is actually very easy to find. You can get this online as well. I recommend unsweetened because you don't want this to be too sweet because we're adding a different sweetener into it. So I'm gonna add my coconut. And now I'm going to add in, this is optional, but I love sesame seeds. Sesame seeds add just like a really nice sort of richness to it. And I always have them around because I love their flavor, but that's an optional thing as well. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of, of a spice. So I'm adding cinnamon today because that's all I have in my pantry, but usually I like to add in a little bit of nutmeg and allspice, whatever I really have around like that. So if you have that in your pantry, feel free to add that in as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt because everything in here is unsalted, about roughly about a, a half of a teaspoon. And now all you need to do is give it a good mix just to get everything incorporated. So then I mix together just some honey and some coconut oil. You could absolutely use butter instead of the coconut oil if you like. It's whatever you really have around. I find that the butter makes it a little bit more crispier and a little bit more rich. And the coconut oil adds sort of like a nice subtle sweetness to it and makes it a little bit uh, softer. So depending on how you like your granola, you can choose which one you wanna add. And then I add in my vanilla extract and I pour it in to my oat mixture and give it a good mix. You wanna make sure everything is just evenly coated with that beautiful coconut oil and honey. And that's all it takes, and so now we're gonna bake it. Here I have two baking sheets that I've lined with parchment paper, and I'm gonna take my oat mixture that's coated with that honey and the coconut oil, and I'm gonna evenly distribute it between the two baking sheets. Here is my trick. I have made this recipe about a bajillion times, and I don't know about you, but I love having big chunks of the granola. And I have a secret on how to do that. So what I do is I actually spread the granola out, but I make it so it's somewhat compacted together. And the reason I do that is because it makes it so it's gonna be crispier on the outside and a little bit more chewy on the inside so that you have a little bit of both, but it's gonna give you those great big pieces that when you break it apart, you'll still have those big pieces that you can snack on. Now, each of these go into the oven at 325 degrees for about 18 minutes or until the outsides have started to become nice and golden brown is really what creates the best granola. All right, these are out of the oven. They are beautifully golden along the outside so you know that they are done and ready to go. But here's the trick. Now we have to wait. In order to get those big pieces, those big chunks that you love in your granola, gotta let them cool. All right, it has cooled completely and you know that it's ready to break apart when you can actually lift like this and it stays together. Look at that. That is what we are looking for. These big pieces. I like to store it in a uh, just container like this, break it apart. I also like to have this on yogurt with some fresh fruit. I like to snack on it just like this too. And that's how you make homemade granola. I hope you all love this recipe and get a chance to try it out. And if you do, remember to tag us at Home and Family TV, at Homework Channel, and I am at From Scratch with Maria. I'm gonna dig in. Bye guys.